Hi, this is my 85 Turbo E30. This car's been sitting about four or five years. I actually just put new registration on it, so it's legally insured and registered. It's been that way the entire time, but the sticker expired back in 2014, so I updated it to 2018 now. Um, we towed it here to my new house and garage. And I finally dug it out of the other garage I have, and I've been working on it so that we can pull this turbo kit out and put it in my other E30. So here we are, and this is running Mega Squirt 2 Extra with the G Slender 2.8 firmware. It says uh, pre 3.3 alpha. Um, let's see, pre 3.3 alpha 5 mod G Slender V 2.8. So if I turn it on. You can hear the fuel pumps kick on. The Mega Squirt connects. Let me uh, bring the ISO down so you can see my laptop screen. Give it a second, we'll update. So here we go, manifold air um, temperature 78, coolant temp 85. I said this started running for about 10 seconds earlier. It fired right up, uh, no throttle needed. Air fuel ratio doesn't quite match my um, AEM. That's a very common issue actually. It's because of a difference in grounding, I believe. Um, so, got some wiring issues to take care of. And engine manifold air pressure at 98 point, about 8 kPa. So it's just atmosphere right now. So we're going to go ahead and start this, and it usually bounces a little bit at idle. That's fine. Okay, ready. Make sure we're out of gear. So we're idling at like 500 RPMs to 600 RPMs. It's not really the greatest. Yeah, you can see it there. So what I want to try and do is smooth this out a little bit, if possible. It's not too bad. This car doesn't run an ICV at all. So when it's cold, it idles low and then it speeds up as it warms up. And to help it control the idle speed, what I did was create a bucket for um, timing and I believe uh, air fuel too. So what it will do is when it gets low, it will bounce back up to a higher speed. So this uh, here is a higher advance, causes the engine to run faster. Then we have a lower advance, which causes it to slow down a little bit and be a little bit smoother, I believe. It's been a long time since I touched this. We've also got our AFRs. Here you can see as it gets very low, it's a little bit leaner. That will definitely cause it to speed up. And we can look at fuel. You'll probably see the same bucket kind of thing going on. It definitely, it will tend to run lean as it idles lower just to speed the uh, engine speed up. And that's how I control it without an ICV not perfect so you do kind of get this bounce and this uh, wander but it runs okay and actually I had this car out in the road um, yesterday and the day before yesterday for the first time in well like I said over four years it runs fine um, the tires on this are not fit for road use so I've only driven it around my neighborhood but um, we should be good to go to kind of like throw this in my other car and on a new engine with a stouter uh, transmission and uh, yeah that'd be cool I'll show you the engine too while we're at it Here. so it's kind of a mess see my turbo spinning there But it's cleaning up. And obviously when I put it on the other car, I'm gonna be running an intercooler. Right now it's not intercooled just to get it running. Um, I've got my web of vacuum lines up here. It's, it's amazing this thing runs. And the loud ticking noise are my injectors. They're 750cc injectors. I believe they're um, decap like Mustang injectors or something like that. Which also does not help with idle control, by the way. 
Let's see if I got my AM wideband that's running. Yeah, that's bright. Yeah, all kinds of junk in my trunk. This tire, by the way, completely failed. So I put the spare on for my other E30 and I destroyed the bottle cap trying to get the wheel off. So I have to get new wheels and new tires for this car. Give it a little gas for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. temperature comes up it idles a little bit more stable and this car I think runs 190 normally I can't remember or over 200 something like that it's a factory thermostat and this is an M50 non Venice with a Holsa HX35 turbo on it 